A sloop crashing straight into a galleon causes one hole for the sloop. A sloop crashing into a brigantine also causes just one for the sloop. However, a sloop crashing into an equivalent generally causes one in the front and two in the back. This information shows that the sloop has the strongest hull of all three ships. With that information, the most damaging ram to a sloop is a sloop, which is why it's our primary focus. Sloop also does the most damage to larger ships. This is to make up for its single cannon, opposing multiple cannons on other ships that usually solve problems better than ramming. If you want to take your naval combat skills to the next level, pay attention to the tips and tactics we're about to share. Ramming can be a powerful and effective way to take out enemy ships in combat, but it's more complex than just crashing into them. It could also end your adventure with a few oversights. This guide will teach you everything you need to know about how to ram effectively and emerge victorious. Fuzzy here, sit back, relax and enjoy. At one point during my stream, I was solo slooping and encountered this guy. The reason why he is important is that he is the reason for this video. Something happened that made me wonder as things didn't make sense initially, as I'm not usually someone that rams into ships. But after analyzing the clip, I rammed the ship more than a hundred times to discover what happened to unlock the secrets of ramming. Here's what happened. His ship rammed into mine, and we were both at similar speeds with identical ship types. But due to me falling off the ship near his ladders, I decided to take his sloop instead and ram it into the nearest rock to make it sink faster. So initially, we exchanged ships. But the strangest thing happened. By the time I rammed his to make more holes, it was still barely filling. And when I returned to mine, it was already sunk. My ship had completely filled up before he had a quarter in, which is less than two buckets to bail. So we slapped the GG's and now more than 100 rams later, I have the answer. Jackie and I rammed the sloop into every type of ship to get the finest results and into every part of the ship. Bow, stern, port side and starboard and how they affect each other properly. This knowledge helped us achieve more significant and better victories in our adventures in more creative ways. Like stealing four of fortune keys by causing ramming distraction and cleaning out the trash. The by the way, if you want live shenanigans, I stream on Twitch three times a week. The bow of any ship is the strongest, with the sloop on top. Think of it as a slightly more armored part of your vessel. So now we want to use that wisely. It makes a difference which side of the ship you ram into, as not all sides are created equal. Generally, any sloop ram should cause around three holes in any other ship. But what makes a difference is the tier of the hole. If you did not know, there are three levels. Tier 1, Tier 2, and Tier 3. With Tier 3 pouring in the most. But of course, that's only the initial ram. Once the ship continues side by side rams into other ships, more holes will be present, which vary on ship speed, waves, and angle. So everything we cover is for the initial ram which is the most important. First, as a general rule, no ram can cause more than three holes for the initial hit, regardless of ship type. However, we must keep something in mind, since the game sometimes has hit detection issues. As a result, you might rarely find answers that don't make sense, which is unintended. Sometimes you see four, and in others, you see none. But now, back to our discovery. What matters the most is the speed. For example, we rammed a galleon into the side of the sloop against the wind. It caused fewer holes than ramming a sloop at full speed into the side of the galleon. Same results with a brig when it gets to ramming, sloop is boss. This also supports our discovery that sloop has the toughest hull. Later on, we rammed a sloop at snail speed into the side of another. It caused no damage to either, but hitting it from the same exact location at a faster speed caused several holes in both ships, showing us that speed makes a difference. With this conclusion, we can now summarize that the bow is the strongest for all ships, sides are the weakest, and ship speed matters. As for ramming from the stern, which is the back of the ship, this is usually intended for boarding other ships. It only causes two holes and usually a recommended approach only if you are boarding to finalize their sink. Anything caused by a sloop would impact other ships more than a brig and a galleon. The faster the ship, the more damage caused, with a limit of three holes. So you don't have to be too fast to achieve three. A sloop with half sails down is max damage to other ships. Now which side of the sloop is better to ram into? After several rams to the left and right side of the sloop, we realized that the left side is stronger than the right, which means ramming the left side, which is port side from the center, caused one hole in the bottom deck and two higher ones. As from the right side, which is starboard, it caused two lower ones and one higher. So even though the total amount of holes is similar, the two lower ones on the starboard side will fill faster. So how can we optimize the ram if we are ramming into port side? Here's a rule of thumb. Always ram towards the left of the enemy's cannon on a sloop, regardless of the side. So ramming starboard, a ram to the left of the cannon will cause two holes bottom and one on top. As from port side, ramming towards the left of the cannon will transfer one of the two holes from the top we had earlier to the bottom, causing an equal amount of damage to that of the starboard side, making all rams equal. And here's a perfect example. This is where we used ramming effectively to cause a big distraction. Up 
approaching from port side, almost towards the sweet spot. Ramming is mostly for shenanigans and strategies, still causing several holes for them in the bottom. Rushing to save their ship instead of preventing us from the board, by ramming like this out of the cannon range, you can cause holes, cause a distraction, board their ship, and have less than two tier one holes on your sloop for your crewmate to repair, putting you at a great advantage. Please subscribe if you found this helpful. Happy ramming!